right, we're checking out the only game where the best next door neighbor is the one that kills you the fastest. It's the man from the window. It's time for another game that's supposed to be a... <laughs> That's supposed to be a horror game, but it does not totally understand my inability to experience fear like a normal human being. Is this a pizza delivery person or is this like my mom? I'm not gonna lie, my mom looks a lot like a mobile turnip. Also, I think my mom is a rabbit. Do you have to walk completely around my entire house judging my decor setup before delivering my pizza? Mama rabbit. How come mama rabbit has like an Instagram photo for her like profile shot? Better try to get some sleep. You're not going to sleep on, like, my chair, are you? Because that's what I use to watch anime. Is- what is this? Is this me, or- I don't know if she's just very big, or if I'm just really malnourished. Junior, what on earth are you doing up so late? Well, hopefully dying, if the game works out correctly. You know you have school tomorrow, but mama- You and I both know school is totally useless! The man from the book is gonna get me. Now we're getting somewhere. Wait a second, man from the book? Are you telling me that I'm going to be murdered by education? See this storybook here, mom? Remember when you bought that for me because you said you didn't want me to sleep like a normal child anymore? Remember when you were like, my son hasn't experienced enough trauma in his life, so let me get him this book with Gru, the minions guy, staring creepily from the bottom part of the cover. Give it here. That's my book. All right, I guess you could just rip it from my clutches. The man from the window is quite the odd fellow. I like how they couldn't even be bothered to make the text like fit on the page. The text is like, I do what I want. With big beady eyes and sunken nose, he just wants to say hello. He sounds like a fantastic neighbor. Let's see, he searches for only one thing. A new friend is all he wants. He's very lonely. If you hear him tap, tap, tapping on the window, he's found a new friend to play. Then you have five minutes before he takes you away. The man is very bold. He will check inside the place which is cold. Do I have to lock myself in the refrigerator? If I don't, if like, like if I can't open the refrigerator back up from the inside, won't I just die? You're too young to be reading this. It'll scare your little mind half to death. Mama Rabbit, I don't think you understand how much the educational system has failed me. I don't understand what fear is. Oh. Well, guess we're both gonna die, Mom. Okay, Mom, he's starting to, like, break through the window. Can you, like, go get your gun? Dear Lord, this ain't good! So, um... Is- Oh, 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 it's me! Uh... Hello? Alright, kid, I got two questions. Why don't we have any tables? What are you wearing? Junior, follow me, stay here. Here, let's split up. That always works in all these different horror movies. Can I just go back to sleep on the couch? Oh, I could push it in front of the door! Yeah, absolutely! Two minutes well worth my time. There you go. Now we're fine. Unless it comes through the window. Anyway, you hungry? I thought it was pizza. I guess it's donuts. Eat the donuts. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Priorities, baby. <laughs> All right, grab the keys. Oh, I can grab this fork. I could probably fit myself under there and hide. Mama Rabbit, I don't think that's true. There ain't no way I'm fitting in there to hide. But Junior probably <laughs> Is that the microwave? Oh, oh, oh. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Fo yeah, follow me. <laughs> All right, I got I got I got the, literally the awesomest place for you to hide. It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the front door. It was left unlocked, but he was unable to open it. Ha <laughs> ha! Get wrecked! Oh, it took him a minute to break through the door. That's actually not that good. The man has found his new friend. Oh. You took, you took my childhood, not me. Well, that doesn't... I don't, that's fine. All right, attempt number two to keep my son alive. All right, follow me. You're going inside the microwave. No joke. All right, get in there. It might be a little cold, but you need to hide the break for a bit. And don't come out until I say so. And if you don't hear me tell you to come out, well, I'm scared. Shut up and get in there. <laughs> all right, now that that's all set up, let's see how the rest of the house is decorated. All right, we have a wash basin in here. Hide in the wash tub. Nah, we don't, we don't need to hide. That's no big deal. Uh, we got the sink over here. How about you? What's in here? Oh, it's a bedroom. Where does my son actually sleep? She goes, I can prop the chair up on the door, but it's not very sturdy. I know from personal experience. <laughs> yeah, why not? Go ahead. All right, I'm going inside the tub. Hopefully this works. All right, the man approaches the front door. He's unable to open it. An unsturdy little chair but you to bar the door. It takes him 30 seconds. You just broke my chair. I've only got one left, so now it's between me and my son. All right, so the man goes in. Where is he going to look? Are you serious? You're going to look inside of a microwave the very first place you would think of for a child to be? Are you kidding me right now? Ha! 
Sorry, buddy. <laughs> right, I'm running out of places to put you, kid. Here, follow me. All right, step number two. Apparently, this guy's a psychopath because the very first place he thought of to put a child was the refrigerator. So, uh, there, go, go under here. There, hide under the sink. All right, there we go. We're gonna close the door. I'm gonna get inside the tub. Bam. Door was unlocked, so he walked straight in. Yeah, come on in. Why not? There's donuts to the left if you want some, by the way. You're not gonna find a child inside of the microwave for, like, the first time in my parental life. Oh, he's just walking straight past it, isn't he? Hey! <laughs> Don't see me, do you? <laughs> oh, come on! Uh, you know, technically, he's still hidden. Because that bar is in the way. Alright, kid, I'm getting to the point where I'm literally just gonna throw you out the window to the guy. Because, like, hiding you is pointless. Okay. All right, get under the table. Doesn't really look like the best hiding spot, but it'll have to do. I'm taking the keys. I'm gonna open this box of donuts. Maybe that'll lure him over there. All right, now I'm going into the tub because again, I think it's the only place I can legitimately hide. All right, the man goes in. You like calories? Yeah. Right on the left over there. Yum, yum, yum. Spotted a box of donuts. See that? Totally worked. Got him. Took a minute to eat them all. Now he has diabetes. No joke though, if you can finish an entire box of donuts in 60 seconds, that's incredible. The time is now 2.01. Oh, my son lasted for one minute. One full minute. Okay. Where we go? Where are we heading to? Ah, there's nothing inside of here though. Yeah, what are you gonna do about that? Looked under the bed, no child there, but he found nothing. Actually, while you're under there, could you like vacuum? like all the way to the back of the bed because I know you got like really long spindly arms or don't that's fine too wow I am like not hitting at all looked under the sink also is it just me or are those not like the biggest rolls of industrial sized toilet paper that like, have ever been seen ever also I just noticed my son didn't put the toilet seat down I'm gonna slap him all right found nothing under there my son has now lasted for two full minutes yeah <laughs> okay what's next what do we got what do you got for me Oh, you're gonna look under the table, huh? Sorry, kid. Well, suck. All right, I got a new plan. Here's what we're gonna do. You follow me. I never thought it would take me so much effort to keep a child alive. Sounds weird. All right, open the donuts, grab the keys, push this in front of the door. All right, little Beatus, follow me. All right, go under the bed. I'm gonna go in here. Never mind, I'm actually too big to fit past the door. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go in here. I wonder if I can put my son inside the toilet. Okay, here we go. He has to break down the door full minute. He gets inside. Now he has to contract diabetes. Another full minute. Hey, yeah, here we go. Also, I just noticed there was two donuts missing. Did I, like, eat those simply on the way home to feed my child? Alright, it's 2.02. Oh, my son's dead. Alright, kid. Get inside the refrigerator. I swear to God, I'm gonna make this work. I don't care what it takes. God, saving a child is like playing a game of freaking Tetris. I never thought there was that much effort that went into it. Alright, now. Donuts gone. Could you at least throw the box out when you're done? Nope. Alright, or don't. Alright, now he's gonna go look under the bed, but it's not gonna matter. Because the kid's not there. So he always follows the same pattern, which means it's really bad for me. Because my memory sucks. I hate my life. After getting my son murdered in literally every possible way, I have finally figured out how to keep this kid alive. The, actually, I shouldn't say I figured it out. The only reason I think this is going to work is because it's the last way. Like, he has died every other single possible way that there could be. Open the donuts, put the thing over there, leave the keys on the table, bring the kid into this room, get under the bed, close the door, open this door, into the tub. I swear to God, at this point, if you find my child, you could keep him. All you have to do is make sure that the man screws around for five minutes straight. The, the couch has actually been more useful than me as a parent at this point. The couch bought an entire minute, and the donuts are gonna buy another minute. All right, it's 2.02. We're like 50% of the way there almost. Now, as long as he doesn't look in the tub, even though I'm like very obviously in the tub, everything should be just fine. There we go. I love how he's just like, nah, I'm not gonna systematically check things. I'll just keep going this way. All right. Looks under the refrigerator. 203. Two minutes left to survive. Uh oh. Okay, apparently he does not do the same thing twice. Okay, I finally figured out how to make this broken glass sandwich to work. So I have to read this real quick. Okay, he's gonna check the microwave. Then he's gonna check the, the table. Then he's gonna check underneath the sink. Okay, so the tub. Okay, 
So it's the mirror and the tub. Got it. This is totally working. We're actually gonna survive. All right, first things first. Grab the keys. Bam. Right there. Second, put open this box of donuts filled with arsenic. <laughs> I guess if it was filled with arsenic, I wouldn't have to go through all this. Lock the front door. Move the couch in front of it and don't get stuck in it because you have no idea how many times my gigantic character has gotten stuck inside of the couch when I pushed it up against the door. Come here, little junior. The only thing you're good at is dying. Follow me. All right, we're moving along. Lock this. Open this door. Come here, get inside. Hurry up. Move your stubby little legs and get under the sink. I have watched you get abducted like a thousand times. I'm scared. You want to be scared or you want to be dead? Get in there. <laughs> okay. Now, lock this. Boom. I get in here and this is totally going to work. Here we go. For the first time ever. Both me and my son are going to survive. I love that the whole, that like the MVP of this entire scenario is the door. The door literally saved my child more than my entire parental abilities. So it took a minute and a half to break through the door and the lock. It really annoys me though, because he's going through my house and he just destroys everything like a jerk. I can't even afford tables to put my lamps on. And you have to come in, you have to eat all my donuts. By the way, you have no idea how much I wanted the last place for me to live to be underneath that table. So I could pick up a fork and just stab him in the groin. So again, an entire box of donuts in one minute. That's gotta be some kind of professional record. All right, now he's gonna go in here. He's gonna open the door. And by open, I mean he's going to punch it to death until the, the lock falls off. Cause we can't have nice things in this house. <laughs> All right, now he's gonna check underneath the bed. Nothing there. It kind of annoys me that this whole time, like the winning thing in this game was literacy. Like I would, I never would have guessed. All right, gonna look inside of the refrigerator. What do you know? Often he finds children in there, but not today. <laughs> okay, so now it's gonna be 204, and now he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna check the table. Yes! Oh my god, I've never felt so satisfied in just making a man waste five minutes of his life. That's really all that I've done. And now, because he has to sit there and break the last lock I have in the house, he can't do it. His time was up, and he knew it. So as quickly as he arrived, the man from the window left. He didn't leave from the window, he just ran out the front door! <laughs> You're a liar! And now, the mother and son can both get diabetes together. Finally! Well, I found out my most powerful weapon is knowledge, and it makes my head hurt. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Man from the Window. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.